What up y'all, it's your man Abu American back with another mining video and I want to talk about two things that are not really spoken about uh, in detail when talking about crypto mining and that's the sound and I have here a decibel meter and I'm going to stop talking so we can get a general idea of how much sound these things make but you can hear this all the way outside because I keep my window open and I'm going to talk about that also but here we go, let's check it. So basically a steady 72 decibel. When I'm talking, you see it goes up another 10 decibels. So, um, yeah, nice loud voice. So when you're setting these things up in your house or in an apartment or something, remember if you have neighbors, I don't have to worry about it because, you know, this is in a place in my house where it doesn't disturb neighbors. My neighbors are way over there. You can't see their house. Maybe you can, you know, and this is like a remote bathroom. I don't really have to worry about the sound that it makes. A6 miners make even more noise, although this is a ninja one. These are the type of things you also have to think of. You know, yourself, have mercy on yourself when you're sleeping when uh, you're running a miner. I have to say that these gigabyte cards are louder than the uh, Asus cards. So when I finally get the rest of them, they finally ship in. I don't know what the sound's going to look like, but it's going to be higher than this for sure. I definitely say with the you know other cards it's going to be over 80 decibels now let's talk about a second factor you need to look at also and that's heat removal now I did a little thing with Mike Boland's group and if you don't know who Mike Boland is he's into real estate check him out over on uh, whatchamacallit over on Twitter it's 21 degrees Celsius in here now it's 1am and outside it is negative 3 degrees Celsius so you have to imagine how much heat these things are producing with this window always open, the ambient outdoor temperature being negative 3 degrees Celsius and inside this room being a constant and consistent, oh, I'm sorry, 27 degrees Celsius, guys. Yeah, it's nice and warm in here. I'm actually standing in here, no shirt on. I've got no socks on. It's 28 degrees Celsius in here. I'm sorry, this is the humidity, guys. Uh, humidity is something you need to look at also, but I don't want to talk on it like I'm an expert, but in general, you don't want very low humidity. You don't want too high humidity. What can happen is with very low humidity, you start it, static charge can build up. You see there's an open case. You get static sparks fry your boards. Um, but yeah, think about your heat removal also. You don't want to put these things in a stuffy area where there's no you know, constant, consistent, good airflow. And then the temperature rises. And what happens is when your GPU memory gets too hot, it will shut down. It will get to a critical temperature. These are set to 92 degrees Celsius. These are set to 90 Celsius. When they get too hot, the system will shut down. You stop making money. It will start up automatically on its own when the temperature drops, but if it keeps on going on and then shutting off and going up and then shutting off, it's just it's a complete waste. So think about those two things, guys. The sound, you know, yourself, your neighbors, and also think about where you're going to put these things in terms of the temperature. All right, guys. This is Abu American out for Alpha Nerd.